Okay, I am making um, a soap today. Uh, not a milk soap this time, but rather a beer soap. And I'm using a Thieves Oil Essential Oil Blend. So I've got in here my oils, my fat and my um, shea butter all melted down together. And I'm just going to add my essential oil blend. I've had this sitting in kaolin clay and it's a blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, um, lemon fivefold, uh, clove oil and cinnamon leaf. Smells really fresh. I just thought at the moment it might be an appropriate um, blend of essential oils to use. So I haven't added my uh, lye solution yet. That's next. Let's get all of this out. Maybe a bit of a stir. My lye solution is made with beer today. So the beer I simmered on the stove for about 20 minutes just to reduce it a little bit and to um, simmer off the alcohol. If you mix your um, caustic soda with beer straight out of the bottle, you're going to have a big volcano. So you just need to be careful when using beer. Um, after I simmered it off, I let it cool down, um, left it till the next day just to make sure there was no, um, no um, carbonation left in there. And then I mixed it with my caustic soda and that's what we have here. So I'll add that. So the beer makes a really nice um, bubbly soap, all the sugars in the beer helps a lot with the lather, um, nice and creamy, it really is a um, luxurious additive to a bar of soap, you really will notice the difference if you um, sub out your water for beer. And of course it's a bit of a novelty you know, with the guys as well. So I'll give this a really quick blend. So not very long at all on the blender. I just want to um, bring it to a very light emulsification as I don't want this setting up too fast on me. I don't think with this essential oil blend that it will set up very fast, but. A beautiful caramel colour there from the beer. I'm just going to pour a little bit off for the top. Usually with my beer soaps I do them um, darker on the bottom with the you know a little bit of white on the top sort of representing the head of the beer. So that'll be my top. So in the bottom I'll just leave it the natural colour, but I am going to add um, some apricot kernel um, scrub granules just for light exfoliation. It won't be a really scratchy soap, it'll just make it lightly exfoliating. So just a couple of tablespoons full will be enough. And then I'll give that a blend, make sure it's um, well incorporated. It should do. I'll go and get my mould. So 
Ouais, je peux keeping a bar of this one to myself I made um, I can't remember if I videoed it or not but I made a little while ago uh, another beer soap and I used uh, rosemary and sweet orange essential oils and um, geez that was really nice and I had some ground um, orange peel powder that I'd done myself I'd um, dried in the oven and then ground it up and it just made it yeah lightly exfoliating and it smelled so good so I really enjoyed using that one. So I think I'll be keeping that bar of this one as well. And I'll put that aside while I make up the uh, the top layer. So for the top layer, I'm just going to add some titanium dioxide. So I mixed my titanium dioxide with a little bit of boiling water. I find it um, mixes better when it's mixed with hot water rather than cold. Um, okay, I think that's all blended in now. I'll just bring back our soap. It's not completely set up, so we'll have to be a little bit careful how I pour. Because this top is actually quite thick now. I need a decent um, bang on the ground just to make sure we don't have any air bubbles. So I've given that a good tap down on the ground. And now I'm just going to texture the top a little bit. And then in here I've got some um, dried orange peel, but more coarse, not a powder, it's um, coarse. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that along the top here. So I just did this myself as well when I was doing the um, orange peel powder. Um, I sifted it as I made it, and this is the just the biggest bigger pieces of... Um, dried peel that um, didn't grind down to a powder and I just kept those separate to use for decoration so we'll leave this to sit overnight and um, come back tomorrow to cut it and I will go and read up a little bit more about the Thieves Oil blend and I will see you shortly for the cut of this soap good morning we're back to cut this Thieves Oil Blend Soap and I've done a little bit um, more research on the Thieves Oil Blend. So it dates back to France in 1413 at the time of the bubonic plague or Black Death where everyone pretty much who came in contact with the plague got it and died except for four thieves who were caught stealing from the dead bodies but they never got sick so the judge told them if he 
if they shared their secret of how they were not getting sick, that he would spare them the punishment, which was death, death by fire. So they shared their secret, which was the blend of five essential oils, rosemary, eucalyptus, lemon, clove bud, and cinnamon leaf. The thieves were actually um, perfume and spice merchants, so they did know their stuff. The judge um, kept his word. They weren't burned by death, but instead they were hanged. Um, after, after those criminals were caught, doctors uh, would put the essential oil blend on their hands, ears, temples and feet to protect themselves from the plague as they treated their patients. And they also made a mask that looked like a beak and in the beak they put a cloth with the essential oil blend in it. Um, and that, uh, you've probably seen pictures where doctors, they, um, usually around Halloween, they look like, um, it looks like a beak on the front. And that is where doctors got the name Quack from. So I've learned a couple of things after reading that this morning and I hope you have too. Um, and we shall just have a look in here at the cut of my Thieves Oil Soap. So there we go. You see the apricot kernel, ground apricot kernels in there. Um, they're not really rough, so it's just light exfoliation, not rough like um, ground walnut shell. And a little bit of decoration on top. And this soap will be ready in about four weeks. So thanks for joining me while I made it and I will catch you next time.